Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Nathan from MastersOfMusic.com. I just got done posting a review of Amplitude 4 along with this uh, tips and tricks guide. So uh, I wanted to go ahead and put uh, together this video uh, walking you through the Amplitude 4 uh, features and what to expect with the uh, software here because uh, it's kind of hard to uh, figure out once you're if you're just a beginner so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what to expect with this software here uh, I'm not gonna do any actual guitar playing or tone examples with this particular review I'm just gonna focus on uh, showing the software and some different tips to get the most out of this All right, so let's talk about the uh, interface here and some different things to get used to uh, when you first start out, it's a good idea to get used to these uh, different routing options up here because you, if you look at them, you got all these different routing options. It's so like two and six are the stereo options. So like right here, I have the left guitar and the right guitar both coming into this one instance of amplitude over here on this amp sim. And then you can have the stereo channel like that. So you can have uh, two separate rigs. So like the left will go here and the right will go here. You can have two totally different separate rigs if you wanted to set up. Uh, you get some like a fatter, wider sound if you want to tweak it up here a little bit. So there are the different stereo configurations. You got the different mono configurations. So it's a good idea to get used to these different, uh, how everything is routed here. And then once you have presets, you can go over the preset browser and it'll show the layout here with images as well. Uh, but it only works with the presets. And then you always get these nag screens if you're trying to use presets and you have stuff that's not included because so there's like different versions of amplitude available you got like uh, there's all these add-on packs uh, so this is the, just the base version of amplitude 4 I'm going to talk about right here show you what uh, effects and pedals and amps come with it so uh, you like you can buy a whole max version that has like a whole bunch of like has everything has all the pedals and all the add-ons and everything and there's also a deluxe version that just has like all the uh, main amplitude amps and everything uh, so there's a bunch of different versions this is just the uh, default version I actually have the Mesa amps as well but with the uh, Amplitude 4 you have five British amps so one thing that they make that's weird about this is you can test basically everything in Amplitude so there's a free version you can download and you have all these uh, well there's not a lot but there's I think like four amps you get and a couple base uh, amps and stuff like that with the free version so uh, Amplitude 4 it adds like the new cab room and it adds these five amps, which is kind of weird that you can't test these amps separately because you can basically test everything else in Amplitude before you buy it. But yeah, you can't actually test these. So uh, I might actually upload uh, some sound examples of these British amps later. But right now I'm just going to show you exactly what we got here. So the Bray 800 is the uh, JCM 800, and we got the JCM 900 and the Silver Jubilee. Okay, so there's also the Red Pig and the uh, Brit Valve Pre. So there's the five amps that come with Amplitude 4. And it also comes with a variety of stomp boxes, but these stomp boxes actually come with the free version as well. They're not really that good of stomp boxes. I really hate the delay. It adds all kinds of noise. It doesn't really do a whole very good job, but some of these are okay. So you can just scroll through them like this. So here's the tip with Amplitude. You can scroll through all the stuff like this and hunt for the things you own. It takes forever. Uh, it's a lot easier generally just to use the arrows to um, filter or go through because it just shows the items that you actually own. So all these come with Amplitude, except this. I got this uh, as part of the free package. They have some promotions sometimes. Um, same with this one. But all these other ones come with actual Amplitude 4 as part of the package. They also come in the free version, like I was saying. So you can test these out. They're not that great. You, you're better off the, buying some of the better ones, or you can use other free plugins. So check out Master of Music. I have this section of uh, free tools, and I like post about free plugins from time to time. Like Some of these are going to work better than the uh, default plugins that it come with, comes with. And there's another uh, good free drumming plugin if you want to use this. Uh, you can get some drums to play along with if you don't have the money to buy like uh, Easy Drummer 2 or something like that. Uh, so the thing about Amplitude is uh, you can test any of the gear uh, that they have in their shop. They have like 300 pieces of gear. All you got to do is open the custom shop right here, and then you can just go into uh, any um, anything that they have here. They have all the different sections, and you just hit try, and you just have to leave this open, and then you can try basically anything uh, available in the Amplitude shop. So then your some of these other ones that I was going to try, like this chorus that shows up in here, you can try... Uh, anything for 72 hours like every six weeks so like this over screen pedal it's like pretty much a must-have uh, it sounds so much better in front of uh, these amps than just running the amps by themselves or this overdrive pedal comes with isn't that good this over screen pedal is really good it costs 10 credits or you can just get the TSE version 
over at the TSC website. It sounds basically exactly the same and it's free. So putting this in front of amplitude does help a lot with the tone. You can get a little more uh, clarity if you're using high gain, especially. Okay. One thing they added with amplitude for here was the insert option in the amp here. So it goes uh, it, just right past the amp section. We got, it only comes with two actual inserts. Um, as far as the rack effects here, it comes with digital delay and I, I it, it's okay delay. It sounds definitely a lot better than a stomp delay. Uh, and then you've also got the, uh, paramedic eq here and then you can also use the stomp boxes in here as well same goes with the uh, uh the rack section at the end here so you can uh, go ahead and add any of those uh, stomp boxes and then you open it up to edit it like this turn it on and off and so forth so the cab room is one of the big differences with amplitude 4 we got this new 3d cab room so you've got the cabinet section right here. You can switch between the cabinets. Uh, once again, using the arrows is much faster than using this thing to hunt for the few ones that you own, you know, because Amplitude, that's one thing about the interface is it shows every single piece of gear available. So it can be kind of tiresome to work through sometimes, but the arrows make it easy because it just skips over all these ones you don't own. Uh, and then you can use the match button, and it will load up the uh, cabinet that matches the Amplitude head that you got loaded in here. Okay, so then in here you can actually swap out the individual speakers um, in the amps if you want. There's like 29 different speaker models that come in the Amplitude 4 version here. Um, you got the two different mics. So the mics that it comes with are the uh, Shure SM57, and it's also got a double version of that where the one's at an angle. And then we've also got some condenser mics. These are the ones that come free with Amplitude, but of course you can buy more. So there's only a few mics. We got one, one two, uh, three, four, four mics uh, just in the default version here. And obviously you can buy a whole bunch more. So we got a whole bunch of other ones here on the list that you can pick up if you want. But uh, these ones aren't bad. Obviously the 57 is one of the most popular. So you can customize the tone by uh, just moving around the mic. Obviously if you put it right here on the cone, you get a lot brighter sound. Uh, you can back it off a bit using this image right here you can also just use it do it on here if you want to move the actual mic on the image around instead of the numbers you can switch over to the second mic right here customize its layout as well and down here we've got the room layout so if you notice there's these speakers up here that capture the room you can widen uh, and narrow those to customize the sound we've got six different um, options right here venues you can customize the sound like this one's a little bit got a little more reverb uh, obviously the garage too so uh, you got some different uh, customizations right here and then you go over the mixer room and then this has the uh, volume dials for each specific mic you can uh, solo them listen to them individually same goes with the room uh, aspect you can increase and decrease the volume of all of these of course then for like bass you got this di knob it's not really something you'd use a whole lot with guitar i don't think but um so if you have a bass amp loaded up here and you wanted to inject some direct input into the signal you can go ahead and just increase this here okay so here's a quick tip for your presets that you save you can save all your presets and if you just put a number in front it will show up at the top of the list instead of otherwise it'll just stick it down here like at the bottom of the list because it's in alphabetical order so you just got to put a number in to get it up there so you don't have to scroll through all of these ones first so then each individual section you can bypass if you want hitting that button right there. It's the power button for each individual section. So if you wanted to bypass something, there's also preferences right preferences list right here. If you want to bypass the cabinet section, if you wanted to use like a separate IR loader with separate IRs, you can actually bypass the cabinet section entirely and use uh, load in your own IRs because Amplitude doesn't have the option to load third party IRs, but you can use a different program if you wanted to. Okay, so on the tuner section, there's this ultra tuner. It sets this one by default. It's just kind of weird because it's not nearly as good as the ultra tuner. Uh, you turn this on, and then, it, yeah, it's kind of uh, sensitive, though. I find that it works a lot better. You got to make sure to mute the strings you're not tuning and to uh, use your finger to uh, pluck the strings instead of the pick. The abrasiveness of the pick kind of seems to throw jagged lines all over. Okay, so whenever you like, are working with Amplitude and you have like something you want to copy, you just got to right click. You can copy your settings over to the other amp if you like using stereo mode right here. And then just hit paste. A lot of times I've hit it twice for some reason, but it showed up first time there. You can also just save uh, the individual model presets. 
Um, so that works with anything. Like if you have pedals, you copy the set presets or just about anything in here and then paste them elsewhere if you'd like. Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video review right here. Check out mastersofmusic.com for uh, more info. I've got the written review, and I've also got the uh, tips and tricks right here. So, And I've also got this list of other amp sims if you are interested in uh, researching some of these other amp sims that are available. So uh, go ahead and check that out. I'll probably post up some follow-up videos as well, doing some tone tests here at a future time. So uh, check that out, uh, mastersofmusic.com. Have a good day. Thank you for watching.